Welcome students to part two of making a plant cell. So without further ado, let's get going quickly. Close the browser. And here you see I've opened up Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022. And I'm going to start a new part. Standard IPT, create. Once you get this browser on the side, you can start a 2D sketch. Click on the XY plane. And in this case, I'm going to make the nucleus and nucleolus all as one unit to place within the plant cell wall. So I'm going to start with a circle and just make it 0.75. And I'm using my mouse wheel to move in and out. I'm going to use another circle to be the nuclear envelope and that could be two enter for the nuclear envelope and then give it some thickness by putting yet a third circle and i'm going to stretch that to be 1.875 one and seven eighths inches and then i'm going to put a line right down the middle of it all that'll serve as my axis so i can revolve these pieces now to create the nucleolus I'm going to finish sketch and go to revolve, select the profile of the nucleolus. And then up here, it says select axis. Make sure that line is blue and then select the axis. And you can see how it rotated 360 degrees. Click OK. All the other sketching parts went away. I go up to here. This is where your materials list is. It says default for now, but I select that little arrow and drop down. And I've discovered that rusted is kind of a nice look for a nucleolus we'll just go with that for now so what i want to do now is put a plane on there so i can draw more sketches and i'm going to put plane and go over to this browser and select the origin plus sign and try to pick a plane let's look at this in front view i'm going to put the plane that's facing me the xy plane select then use this rotation cube to turn it 90 degrees, grab a little yellow handle and pull it. And then once you see this little arrow here, you can click check and then rotate it back 90 degrees. Now, the revolution that made the nucleolus, if you click that plus sign, you're going to see the sketch that made it. You can right click on that sketch and copy it. And then you're going to start a 2D sketch. Actually, once you click that, you'll have to finish sketch then click start a 2d sketch and you can see the plane that you made so you want to select it right click and paste your new sketch which is just the same as the old sketch now i'm going to do the material that's inside the nucleus whatever that is i'm going to i'm going to finish sketch and i'm going to use revolve again select this particular profile here and select it says select axis so i do that and select the axis, but that's not what I want. I don't want 360 degrees here. Maybe I'll use uh, 240 as a good number and then click OK. So now let's look at what we have. So there you have the fluid inside the nucleus and you have the nucleolus. And yet I don't want it to be the same. So I'm going to select the outside of the sphere, hold the shift key, select these two interior faces and then go back to my materials list and instead of rusted I'm going to select the little arrow and i've discovered that tropical blue may be a nice color blue to use for that so with that done now i'm going to start another sketch and select on the plane the little yellow out perimeter line of the plane select it and i'm going to right click and paste again now that I see that sketch, I'm going to finish sketch and revolve. And I'm going to select this lower profile here and select axis and select the axis. Let's look at how that looks. That may actually be, maybe I don't want to go all the way. So I'll go 200 degrees, Let's see what it looks like. Ah, oh, that's a nice look. Click OK. And there I have what appears to be a nuclear envelope 
some sort of material inside the nuclear envelope and then the nucleolus. And then I'm going to right click on the work plane and turn visibility off. And there you have the nucleus. So it's very nice for a model. At this point, you can also, if you'd like, I see this as being too much. So I'm going to go back to the sketch, actually to the revolution part, maybe change this to 220. 220. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Much better. 220. Anyway, that looks very nice. So at this point, I'm going to save it. Select File, Save As. Remember, you're going to save it into the plant cell folder. But name everything. This is Nucleus. And again, you can verify that it looks nice. That's the end of this modeling session. I hope that helps. Good luck.